Hello, my name is Vincent Tan. So now I'm going to share with you how can you design a good appraisal form. Have you come across any HOD or any manager complaining to you that they find that the form is not relevant at all? Right? So they say the form is not relevant, the green, all the questions is not reflective to the employee performance and their employee are not happy and you cannot just base on the form to give bonus and increment, right? So, good news is I have a very good methodology to share with you, you know, how can you design a very, very good appraisal form. Now I'm going to share with you how can you design a good appraisal form. So a good appraisal form, you actually you need to have a weightage to indicate the importance of each uh, competency or KPI. So um, I will start with the competency and KPI first. Let me explain uh, what is competency and what is KPI here. So a lot of people mix up uh, competency and KPI in their appraisal form. So before you start designing your new appraisal form, you need to understand what is competency and what is KPI. So competency is the ability to perform. KPI is the performance result. So competency. So competency comprises of three elements here, attitude, knowledge and skills. Let's look at an example of a sales manager here so for a sales manager uh, the attitude that you expect is the willingness to challenge the new sales target so how about the skills so skills will be ability to convince the client to purchase the knowledge is the industry knowledge and experience so the kpi is the end result in this example is how to achieve 10 million sales per year so it's very clear that it is very very different between the competency and the kpi here Competency is the ability to perform. So if a person do not have a good attitude, you will not be able to lead to the sales target that you expect. If the person is not able to convince the client to purchase, you will not be able to hit your sales target as well. So the knowledge and experience, you need to have a knowledge and experience to be a good salesman. So from here, you have 10 million sales targets. How do you ensure that you can achieve the sales target here? you need to have a good competency in place. Now, let's look at the sample appraisal form here. You have a sales manager and uh, you have competency and you have KPI here. So the sample KPI for sales manager can be product knowledge, presentation skill, closing skill. So if you look at the weightage here, so the weightage is very important to indicate the importance of that particular competency. In this case, the closing skills competency is far more important than presentation skill and product knowledge because you need the sales manager to be competent to help the team to close the deal. So this is the sample competency here. So how about the KPI? So the KPI, you have a um, sales revenue, new clients, proposal, so the key driver will be the sales revenue. You look at the weighted shares, it's 60%. So sales revenue is so, so important because that is the main KPI for the sales manager. And if you look at the new clients and proposal, these are the leading KPI and lagging KPI. I'm going to talk about leading and, K, uh, and uh, lagging KPI in another video. So but over here, I just need to uh, need you to understand the difference between the competency and KPI and how you should design your form and give the weightage accordingly according to the importance of the KPI and the competency here. So the next thing you need to know is a ratio between the competency versus the KPI. So um, you need to give some weightage between the competency and KPI. Of course, uh, they will be, they'll be depending on the job grade, the position, and the company culture, and your job design. You have to give the weightage. Usually, commonly is that um, you give twenty percent to competency and eighty percent to KPI. So over here, you look at the appraisal score here. So the appraisal score, the final score, is equals to competency plus the KPI. And um, the formula will be the total competency score that you get. You times 20% and you add to the total KPI score times 
So how can we get the total competency score here? If you move back to the previous slide here, you can look at the weightage here. So there's a score here. So 20%, 20% and 60%. So you give a score, then you times the weightage, you will get a final score here. So after you add up the competency score, you will be able to get the total competency score. Then you need to times the weightage here. Because we did earlier, I mentioned that in this example, 20% is for the competency and 80% is for the KPI. So you go down here, so it will be total competency score times 20% plus total KPI score times 80% and the final appraisal score in this example is 82%. Thank you so much uh, for watching the video. So I believe now you know the fundamental how you can design a good appraisal form. Okay, next thing you need to know is how can you design the good KPI? How can you use KPI to drive your employees' behavior to achieve your corporate goals? You need to cascade down the corporate goals to the KPI for the department head and employees. So see you in next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.